Hello everybody, welcome to a crucial round three group D game, the official replay cast of Ceremol with his undead versus Slade Black Mage with his humans. I can tell you first of all how disappointed I am in these two coaches. We have unpainted undead versus unpainted humans. Very, very sad. I can show you the group table here. Um, so Zerpil is... Zerpils has definitely won the group, 100%. Gabias has a chance to qualify if Slade Black Mage wins. If Slade Black Mage wins and doesn't score three touchdowns, then Gabias will qualify. If, however, it's a draw, Ceremol will qualify. And if Ceremol wins, Ceremol qualifies. In fact, if Ceremol loses and scores a touchdown, Ceremol will qualify. So... The odds are stacked against Slate Black Mage and for Ceremol with a slight outside chance of Gabias victory um, in this match. So pretty pretty cool state of affairs in the group. Um, I can give you a bit of background about the coaches in that Ceremol is British, qualified through the UK BBL, seasons one and two. Slade Black Mage is American and qualified on PC through TRBBL Season 2. So yeah, um, also Slay Black Mage won the toss, chose to kick. He's got five guards, he's got a leader, he's got a block. Pretty pretty standard team, I guess. Um, Ceremol has gone for guard mummies, a tackle white, and three skills on the ghouls. But yeah, I mean, huge favourite right to qualify each. He could have a nil-nil draw. Oh well, not a great, uh, not a great pitch invasion there. Mummy stunned, and the ball carrier. Well, he's not the ball carrier. He's got shield hands, so he's got. He's got a. Uh, he's got something. But yeah, he just needs a touchdown. Ceremon can lose this like two-one and still qualify. If Slade Black Mage wins 3-1 though, Slade Black Mage will qualify, so it's definitely all to play for. Ooh. A little bit spicy. 3D doesn't get the knockdown. Well doesn't get an extra block. Wants to protect the tackler. And the down mummy makes sense. Oh, good, not blitzing. Wow, it's a fast, it's a fast catcher. Hmm. Blitzing all the way around, so he can base the ghoul. Got a 2D the, the uh, mummy as well. Gets a knockdown. Five rerolls for Slade Black Mage. Four plus leader. That's a lot of rerolls. I think of four rerolls, I'd just take block on the throw, to be honest. Good fez. Rushing with a mummy. That's a little bit dicey. I mean, this is a bit of a dodgy cage. I'm surprised he can just cage behind here, right? Caging behind here is more obvious. This is a little bit shaky. If the mummy right can get two deed and or chained away, the mummy can get chained away. The mummy can get chained away. It doesn't know. Oh, he, he, he's going to Ogre Blitz? Oh, boo. 
He could have Volga Blitz, couldn't he? Oh no, he's got the he's got the zombie there. That would have been hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, rush. But yeah, he was already paid. The Undead are really struggling, aren't they? After this, I guess it was the pitch invasion. The stun mummy pushes him out the back, but uh, doesn't have anyone left to blitz with, does he? Didn't make a blitz this turn, but did make a foul. You'll do nothing. Another zomb mummy rush blitz. It's the pow. Push on the catcher. Gets the power of the 3D. <laughs> Foul is a bit of a ground blitz, yeah. There was someone on Fumble who called it a ground blitz. Oh, he stays put? I mean, there's, there's chain possibilities here. Big chain possibilities. Huge chain possibilities. I kind of hate being this tight to the uh, to the mummies, right? There's big chain possibilities. I'm not going for any of them though. But I would not have been surprised to have seen chain plays. Oh wow, Lona works. To the, yeah, he's been under the cosh, hasn't he? Here, so well, probably had to move his, probably had to move his, um, move to one side or the other. Really, like he's just been enveloped by humans, which doesn't make any sense, does it? But I guess it was just like the tempo of the uh, stun mummy. That tempo loss has really put him under under the cosh. Oh my goodness! What a foul! Um, okay, regen works. And he's sent off, and argue the call fails. So, that was nearly a great trade. It's still good for the, um, it's still good for the drive. It's still good for the drive. Um, secret weapon. It's kind of good for fouling in that you've got less to lose by fouling with it, but it doesn't, like, have a positive impact. He's just like surrounded, isn't he? I don't know how he's got surrounded. But very strange drive. I, I guess it was just that initial that initial stun off the LOS has just kept him on the back foot. I mean mummies with one mummies. Undead with one mummy. Or like a rubbish human team. Oh, sent off. Fails the argue. <laughs> Can't really hit. Oh, well, again, we could we could hit this ogre and open up mummy and open up things. It's weird, I don't, I just, it's weird, even though like I've watched every turn, I don't really understand how Ceremal's in such a pickle, still. I guess he just didn't move anywhere, right? He just stayed next to the mummies and kind of stayed in the danger zone and never really like carved out an area for himself. I guess all the guard is pretty hard to deal, isn't it? Four guards. Mummies didn't support each other because one was instantly stunned. The humans are fast, so it's not like versus some teams you just cage away and you're quite happy. But against humans, they can they can come and get you if you uh, 
And now we're just gonna potato. Well. Wow, another lowness success. Honestly, Slave Black Mage should probably just given his ogre block. <laughs> and then. <laughs> the amount of rerolls he's used on him. Oh, wow. Good job he's got five rerolls, I tell you. Down to one, gets two dice on the ball with block. Gets the full power. Catches there, take advantage. Doesn't get the knockdown, of course. I'm not sure about that block, honestly, with one reroll left. I guess I'm doing the, the catcher dodge first. Oh, he's not going for the pickup. He's going to pass it to him. Oh, the plays. The absolute plays. Flip me. I mean, it technically wasn't his ball carrier, right? It was the Bludge Goo, and then he picked up on the Shohan's Goo anyway. I, I, that's why I don't like the Shohan's Goo, right? Because the, the Block Goo looks the carrier anyway. I'd rather have the ball on a Bludger than a not Bludger. Wrestles the ball down. 1D is a 2+, plus. therefore it's kind of better than the dodge because you can reroll team reroll it. Fails the pickup, fails the pickup. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sith Trooper, or something Trooper. Sith something, I can't even see, it's too small. Sith. <laughs> Sith made more sense, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's a. Removal, white blitzer. Here we go, 2D on the ball. Not on the ball, on the goo. And get the ball, turn six. Does he just bang it in? Goes boneheaded. Man, this og this ogre's like failed nearly every single roll he's made except the loner rolls. <laughs> except the loner rolls to fix them. He's been pretty bad. Here we go. Dodge out for a 2D. Really think this guard should have been there. But, uh, I guess it stops him coming from the back of wrestle. Which is better, isn't it? So yeah. Maybe that's right. But I guess it could have been here. And then you could only hit him with guard being active, actually, so the catch is Ah, uh, but then uh, maybe he had to dodge with the blitz. So. Mm. He could potentially surf the school, couldn't he? Try to get a pow here, and then tag the mummy, and then do the dodge serve. I'm gonna do the one D serve instead. Bit riskier. The ball. I don't really like the one D serve. I think I'd have gone for safety first, right, and like put the ball like there or something, and then dodged him to do the serve. Enemies, you're not getting him punched by mighty blow as well. But this is a disaster. The ceremony. I mean, he does have a 4 4 3 to surf. I didn't like putting him on the sideline. <laughs> really didn't like putting him on the sideline. But gets away with it. And 2D mummy, definitely worth doing. Definitely shouldn't block with the ogre. <laughs> it's been so bad. Well, there you go. Huge, huge, huge disaster for Saramor. Actual disaster for Saramor. Um, that was Saramor's drive. 
and he's lost it. Now he has to turn over and score. Losing 1-0 at the moment, this is Gabby Ass going through. Slay Black Mage though does have to score early because he has to score three touchdowns to qualify. So when he scores early, so actually, yeah, Ceremal doesn't have to... Ceremal should let Slay Black Mage score, right? Arguably. He should let him score in two and then score back himself so he at least gets a touchdown and then tries to defend. Very interesting. But I guess the Blitz makes him want to try and defend this hard and get the turnover and get the draw. Really weird situation for Saramor where just a touchdown is all he needs. Maybe regretting his race choice now. Oh, definitely re re regretting that dodge fail. Dead, dead, dead. Doesn't have dodge, right? So cutting corners on a blitz is really, really bad. Really bad. Where was he going there? One, two, three, four. It was four to that square. Five, six, seven, rush. So he probably... That was a mistake, right? That was a mistake. He probably thought he had dodge active. Because cutting that corner... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, and then it was a rush to cut landing the ball. So he probably thought he had dodge for the absent-minded mistake. Because he probably wanted a bit. I mean, I guess he could have wanted to double rush to base this guy, but surely catching the ball is better. So, hmm. Another removal. Oh wow. That blitz did not do him any favours at all. Oh god! There's the castle. Is that, is that a skeleton? Why do you have a skeleton, Saramor? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So he probably should just hand off to the uh, catcher, right? Like, he can't potato because there's a tackler, but next turn, he should try to um, hand off to the catcher, get a screen, get a break either side, get a break either side, screen off the tackler, and, uh, you know, get the second touchdown as soon as possible. He has to score a third. <laughs> Funnily enough as well, if if Slay Black Mage goes 2-0 ahead, then Ceramol pulls one back to 2-1, then Slay Black Mage can still win 3-1 and still qualify, right? So... It's just touchdowns 4 he needs, not difference. Oh, it's a... Not that impactful a dodge. I guess you've got to blitz this guy and base the tackle and, and then go up that way. Like, block him. I don't know. You have to base the tackle there. Has to get this catcher in scoring. Like, he has to get the catcher. Right? He has to score quickly. This is not... I mean, I guess he could score on turn 12. But... It's not great, is it, to score on turn 12. I mean, now the handoff of the catch is irrelevant because the throw can get there in two turns anyway. Mm, I 
don't like this, I don't like this from either of them, right? Seramol shouldn't be trying to stop him scoring. And Slave Blackmate should be trying to score. <laughs> They're both playing like it's a normal game of Blood Bowl. It's so weird. Slave Black Mage has to score three touchdowns. Seramol has to score a touchdown. Seramol is quite happy losing 2-1. Slave Black Mage is quite unhappy winning 2-0. And neither of them are playing like the situation dictates, I think. Also, he's just letting him blitz his ball with a mummy. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't fit the ball! You can tag him with a goo, right? And then one, two, three, rush, rush. Dude, you have to hit the ball. You have to hit the ball there. I can't believe he just didn't scream and then he didn't hit the ball. Oh man. Yeah, you got you've gotta hit the ball there. You absolutely million percent Ceremon has to hit the ball there. He even gets like an incredible scatter as well, right? Puts it out there and then has a goo ready to go and get it and score. I mean, I don't know about always, but yeah, when when you just need to score to win. <laughs> I mean, absolutely, there's no way on it. I mean, he just mustn't have seen it. He must have just thought it was screened. Like, there's no way he's done that if he saw that he could just hit the ball. and just, like, you know, tunnel visioned. Must have just tunnel visioned and just not seen that the ball was blitzable. It's the only thing that makes any sense to me. Okay, now is Slave Black Mage going to go forward? Yeah, okay, now he's going forward. This is a little bit late. Oh my god, he's double scored. Slade is definitely being too safe. They're both being kind of too safe, right? I think he's just realised now. <laughs> I think he's just realised this turn. Hang on. <laughs> I actually have to score three. Okay, hits the ball, gets the full power. Yeah, instant two D. He could have like, I know, not not done this. <laughs> I can't think of a clever way of saying it. He could have just not done that. <laughs> but he did do that, and uh, yeah. I mean, he's going to get 2D on the ball back, at least. Oh, he doesn't get the pow. So, yeah, he just dodges for the guard. Oh, <laughs> dub skulls. Reroll. Takes the ball down and gets a KO. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so Ceramol. And he's in trouble, isn't he? So with that blitz, he frees the white to try and get the ball handed off to him or passed to him. We just gotta pass it to him, right? Oh, oh, fails. No, honestly, it's, but this is the thing. Like, you know, like defending worked out worse for him, right? 
He should have opened the red carpet for a Slade score. Also, Slade just isn't scoring, or is he? Oh, it's a double rush. He's just not scoring! How can you play this turn? Just pick it up and score! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe they don't know what they need. It's the yeah, it's the only explanation for how he's played this half. Maybe he just thought he was out. Maybe he just thought he was out. That's sad, isn't it? He really had a shot. It's the only explanation for how he's played the whole half, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he should have absolutely like got banged it in on a catcher on like turn two or three. And instead, I guess he just thought he was out. But he was like absolutely not out. He probably thought it was touchdown difference. He probably thought it was touchdown difference. And it's not. It's touchdowns four. That is a shame for Slade. Very good for Gabby Ass, though. <laughs> really good for Gabby Ass. Wow. Now he does go on turn 15. <laughs> Actually, there's two turns for Saramol, so he's given Saramol a chance here. <laughs> and then gets solid defense to basically take it away. Oh my god, so many removals. He didn't even try. Didn't even try the two turn. So I'm like, wow. Wow. That's wild that Saramol didn't even try the two turn. Did Saramol not know either? <laughs> did, did neither of them have any idea what was happening? I don't understand. He didn't even try to score. So Gabias is qualified because Saramol has t is 2-5 and Slade Black Mage is 2-5 and Gabias is 2-2. Two, two. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like they colluded together to both lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, Gabby asked, neither of them went through Brightstone. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's the only explanation. Because Ceremon could have scored and gone through there, he had, he had two turns. Like, yeah, okay, it's horrible, right, it's a horrible, it's a horrible getting the solid defence, but look, he could just punch with a mummy, blitz with a mummy, and then dodge this guy out and like... You know, I don't know. I, I don't know what he's going to do or how he's going to do, but he could uh, he could block this guy. And then he could potato through. He would have had a chance. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, I made a video of Phineas North. I mean, th there's a rules pack. People could have read the rules pack. Um... No, he lost. Yeah, he lost 2-0. The, 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 it, it's like collusion to make sure they both lost. <laughs> like, it's like reverse collusion, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if, if they both qualified on a 2-0, then, like, that would explain them playing like this. But they both go out on a 2-0, and Slade didn't try to score quicker, and, and Saramol didn't try to score on the timeout. So, like, he had a chance, right? 2-D with a mummy... Blitz with a mummy, block with a skeleton, um, and then like run through with a goo. It's so bizarre. Yeah, it is, Phineas North. It really is. It really is. 
the only logical explanation is they must both have not known the situation. I did do a little video. Maybe the other guys paid them. Maybe, yeah, maybe Gavias is like, I wouldn't mind qualifying from this group, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, that's just a joke, by the way. Just a joke. Not accusing anybody of match fixing. But, um, yeah, they must just not have known. They must just not have known. That's so weird. So, yeah, so that, that means... I mean, I can't show you the updated groups, unfortunately, but... Yeah, Slade goes up with three points. Um, Ceremol concedes more, and Slade doesn't score enough. So Gavias goes through in second place. And Zerbal, so there you go. Commiserations to both Ceremol and Slade. They both lost, um, even though Slade won. And congrats to Zerpels and Gavias who qualified from Group D. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.